Hey guys, Keith here. Um, wanted to make a quick video to kind of get people ready for some changes that are coming up to x -Lights in the next couple of months. Um, and to be honest, I really think you should be considering it either way, even if we weren't changing things, because it makes things a lot easier. Um, the setup tab at the moment is uh, yeah, it, it's basically anchored in history where people for a long, long time would create multiple entries for the same controller with different universes. And there's good reasons to do so. Things like uh, different size universes. Here I've got a universe of 510 and 512. Um, so, you know, in that case, to be honest right now, that is the only way that you can support that. Um, but there's other bad practices going on here. I've got uh, you know, non-continuous uh, universes. I've got this controller up here, and then I've got a couple more universes for it down here. Or maybe if I delete... Oops, I should, probably shouldn't have deleted that one. Let's change this one to 512. Um, here I've got a gap in the universes, so it goes from 104 to 106. Um, as we move forward, you're going to find that we are going to dr drive this to be much, much more consolidated. Um, we're going to add support for um, multiple universes on a controller with different size universes without forcing you to create different lines. Uh, we're going to strongly discourage you from this um, non-continuous universe numbering or where you've, re you, you've got the universes in unordered orders, uh, unordered order. Yeah, um, those sorts of things are going to make your life much, much harder in the future. And in fact, you're going to lose some functionality. Uh, we're going to take away things like visualize controller and upload to controller in situations where the universes are not in numeric order. They don't just go up by one in uh, as you go down each universe. So if you've got one of those setups, which is really messy and you've got stuff all over the place, and let me put my hand up, I'm guilty of this. My setup's not as clean as it could be. In fact, if I switch, um, if I switch to my show folder, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, sorry, my computer's a little slow at the moment. I'm also compiling in the background. Um, but if I go to documents, uh, not that documents that documents and go to my lights home and if I select that folder you'll see my layout no don't want to save that so come on I did warn you it's very my computer's very slow at the moment Okay, so here it comes. So as you can see, mine is really, really messy. Uh, for a few things down here, I've been really disciplined and I've, I've created a single E131 entry with all of my universes. They're all allocated in a nice block. Um, if you've done things like this, you are going to be really good. Everything's going to come across seamlessly. You won't have to do anything. But you can see for this controller here, um, I've got stuff all over the place. My universe numbers are not continuous. Um, uh, the sizes are all over the place. That's okay. We'll support that. But I really need to go in and change these universe numbers so that they're all... Um, they, you know, they, I can start at 31, but this one would have to be 32. This one would have to be 33 and so forth. These DDP entries are fine, ZCPP entries are fine, uh, your USB, DMX, LAW, etc. entries, they're all fine as long as you haven't duplicated the COM ports. So if you get a chance in the next few weeks, um, I suggest that you try to clean some of this stuff up because when the release finally comes out with the new functionality for the setup tab, things are going to be quite different and things will convert across a lot easier if you've cleaned everything up before you go um, through that step. Uh, when, you, when it does come to this time, uh, it'll also be one of those one-way doors. Once you upgrade uh, into that release, whichever release it happens to be, you won't be able to go back again. It will fundamentally change uh, your network's file and it will update all of your... Um, 
uh, start channels and everything else and it'll just get everything back into into, uh, into a very clean state. Hopefully you'll find it's a lot, lot easier to use and a lot easier to follow. The one other thing that I would mention is if you're using this number in the first column here, which we also refer as the output number to address your models, um, that's also going to be problematic. I, I intend trying to convert it across as best I can, but it is going to cause you complexities. Um, and, I, and particularly if you've got something like this. If you've just got something like this, you're probably going to be okay. I think I'm going to be able to bring that across reasonably easily. But if you've got any of this stuff going on, it's going to be very hard. And what, what do I mean by that? If you're sitting there going, oh my God, I don't know if I've done that. Well, basically, like I said, my computers are very slow at the moment. Okay, so if you've set start channels here uh, using uh, the hash in front and then the universe number and the start channel, you're golden. Everything will be fine. If you don't have that hash and it just has the number colon and then a number, uh, that's that's something that's at risk. Uh, there is a chance that your start channels will not convert across uh, correctly. So if you can fix that up and make it universe start channel, it just reduces the chance that you're going to have problems through this upgrade. Now, I'm giving you a minimum of two weeks, probably a lot more than that notice that this is coming up. Uh, to give you plenty of opportunity to go in and, and do the best you can to clean up your current display. The other thing that I will mention is even all, even if all of these universes here uh, were perfectly laid out um, and were all sequential, the conversion is actually going to compress them all down into a single line. What that means is, I'm sorry, but the descriptions that you've put here at the output level are going to go away. Um, it's not practical for us to bring those forward if we want to make the simplifying change that we want to make. And so what it will do is it will, um, in this case, uh, take the first um, first line or the first uh, uh, output that's going to that particular controller, and that will become the controller name uh, going forward. And you can obviously go in and rename it, etc. So I realize that some people are going to be disappointed because they like the fact that they had all of these descriptions here. Um, but that's just the way it is. If, you, um, if you're absolutely adamant that you wanted to set it up that way, it will technically be possible to do so, but it will be extremely difficult and time consuming because it's you know, basically that's just not the way we're looking at going forward with this. Um, so I realise there's probably going to be some angry people out there. I suggest you go and uh, yeah, pound clay or something, take out your temper. Um, this is pretty much a given as to where we're going. We believe that it will make this setup tab a lot easier to use and uh, create a lot fewer issues for new people coming into the hobby. Um, and so, yeah. So nasty comments, um, I guess you can post on the video or post in Facebook uh, as you wish. Cheers, guys.